With the government having extended the mask mandate until March 8, health experts say early March would be a suitable time to scrap the rule. For mask manufacturers, however, the looming change means the end of their business. Some have already planned for the inevi inevitable, Mimo Singai reports. With almost all COVID restrictions now abolished, Hong Kong residents still have one burning question. When can we take off our mask? Mask-free days cannot come soon enough for local people, and there are many reasons. For instance, this woman said she has a selection of lipsticks she wants to put on before their expiry date. This man, however, said he used to wear a mask, adding they provide him with a sense of security. Like the public, the city's health experts and academics are also looking forward to the day they can discard masks, saying early March would be a suitable time to drop at least the first phase of the mandate, no more mask wearing in outdoor places. But they suggest maintaining the mask requirements indoors, including hospitals and care homes, until late March or early April. With authorities calling for an end to the mask mandate, mask manufacturers must soon decide whether or not to maintain their production lines. Timothy Choi, director of a mask company, has already made up his mind, saying he will end his mask producing business once the rule is scrapped. He believes his mission has come to an end and it is time to move on. Meanwhile, the hospital authority announced further relaxation of visiting arrangements for public hospitals starting from Wednesday. Visitors will no longer be required to undergo nucleic acid testing and rapid tests conducted within 24 hours will be sufficient. Some hospitals will also adjust the number and time for visiting sessions. In addition, the government said free nuclear acid testing services will end on Wednesday, while 21 community testing centers and stations will be kept open to provide self-paid nuclear acid testing services. Mimus and I, TVB News.